Hello, welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial. I'm Andre, and today I'm going to show you how to make this advanced manipulation in Photoshop using stock images and filters and adjustments and that kind of things that we always use when we make this kind of manipulations. I'm going to show you how to go from this image. This is actually two images. Uh, this image I shot myself, and this is a stock photo that I got from DeviantArt.com. I'm going to show you how to add stuff and how to change the head of the girl to create something like this. I'm using Photoshop CC 2018 for this Photoshop tutorial. I recommend you use at least Photoshop CS 6 to make this uh, because we're going to use uh, color lookups and stuff like that. But if you have Photoshop CC, any CC version will do uh, even better. This is, a, I would say, it's an advanced tutorial and I will skip some parts like for example how to cut the girl from the background I'm gonna show you the cuts that I make and I'm gonna show you the masking how I made the masking but I'm gonna skip the parts where I cut things from the background because the tutorial would be too long so I'm just gonna show you the essential steps and how to get uh, to this showing you the most important things that you need to uh, to know to make this so I hope you will like it and let's rock and roll So we're going to start with the background as I always do. Uh, the first thing I want to do is open the stock image of the background. I shot this image back in 2017 in Barcelona and this will remove the selection from here. And with the brush tool now, I'm going to press the B key to select the brush tool and I'm going to use a soft brush, opacity and flow 100% is okay and I'm just going to paint over this area over here. If you don't want to see the marching the marching ends here because they're annoying, you can press Control Command H on your keyboard and the selection is still active but you don't see it. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. And I'm gonna switch back to white because I painted this area here which is not what I want. Okay, I'm going to press Ctrl Command H again and up down Ctrl Command D to deselect and you can see how it looks like. If you remove too much of that, you can double click on the layer mask and remove, uh, lower the density a bit and you can see it becomes semi-transparent and basically you add up, uh, you add the image back, okay. like this and I can see the color is not the one that I was looking for so I'm going to change it well actually I'm going to uh, change the blend mode maybe let's see like that and I'm going to change it to soft light see what it yeah it looks a lot better okay and that's how I create I changed the color of the lips